Harish, that uh, what we were expecting from this particular session. Pratik and Rishit, I think. Pratik and Rishit, I think you were in there in the earlier sessions. So uh, what I heard from Harish is what uh, what we were looking at uh, is not what the expectation was from the training. So uh, I just want to be clear uh, from you too about what is the expectation that you are looking at, and uh, and um, of course uh, first day I think it was the overview of the session, but at least the third session uh, when we went into the tables uh, and uh, showing the data model the tables and everything, you guys did not of course or or, or at least you did not, you did not stop us saying that uh, we are not going to be the developers and we are not going to uh, need uh, such uh, detailed information. So uh, I just want to uh, understand from you guys uh, about what is the expectation from your point of view uh, based on the uh, Go ahead. Pratik, can you go ahead please? Uh, I am basically a technical guy, so I wasn't sure what, what I was supposed to do. It's just, I, it's just that I was told to learn about MDM. So later on, it was, uh, it was uh, <coughs> informed to me that we need to first consider the functional aspects and then move on to the technical. Later on in the sense, after the third session? Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, so Santosh, pretty much what I summarized my call, that's pretty much the expectation for all of us for to be the similar positions. So pretty much just no, actually, Yeah, because I got to know after only after the third class, uh, I think when we were supposed to start the fourth session, uh, that is when I got the information from Harish that uh, right, right. what so what can what uh, start so from there. That, I mean functionally. Yeah, so that is why I just wanted to confirm from you guys uh, so that before uh, you know the, the context that has been said by Harish, uh, which was not, not told to me before. At least when you guys were in the session, if you could have told me, I would have stopped stop right there, then and there, and then continue with the other uh, aspects of what you were looking at. Right. Uh, so uh, okay. Uh, Actually, we were expecting uh, Harish. Uh, we wanted Harish to join this meeting. Uh, for and I were expecting Harish to join this meeting so that he can, you know, he can set the context that yes, this is what we were looking at. Okay. So for now, what I'll do is uh, I'll run through the demo. Uh, what particularly Harish was talking about is the UI interfaces that he was more concerned about. Uh, he wanted to understand more about the uh, UI. That is where you guys uh, will be working on. Uh, you guys will be uh, more towards the UI side, and then little and fun functionality layer, and the technical aspect of uh, in detail technical aspects. He he said uh, you guys were not focusing on that much. So I just run through the demo of a uh, few of the UIs that we have, okay, for today, and then once uh, if you guys can. Uh, once we get the confirmation from Harish that yes, this is what we are looking at, then then probably I can uh, continue with my sessions from that. Uh, am I clear about what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, actually, uh, what we started off firstly. So these were the topics that we were uh, initially supposed to talk about. Okay, I think uh, still uh, these topics will make uh, make sense uh, to you guys. Uh, I mean, see, from my point of view, even if you are a business analyst, right, you need to know what is the functionality of the tool, what exactly the tool does. So each and every aspect 
may not be the 90 percent of the answer, but on, on the high level, as a function is how it is, how how the tool is working, that is what you want to know. Okay, so still I would uh, cover a few of these topics. Like uh, I, we had already finished the MDM uh, enterprise um, interaction of the MDM architect and uh, lecture. Yes, then physical and virtual data model. Uh, since what is physical, I think we have uh, covered most of it. Virtual data model, I will cover only uh, on a high level, not uh, going in depth uh, to the details about what happens in each and every table. Okay. Uh, I think how services are involved and how services are handled, I will see to, to what extent I can uh, explain you because this, these are more about uh, more about the details which are related technically. Then uh, linking and duplicates, uh, this does make sen uh, sense uh, because ultimately MDM is all about uh, linking linking customers and, uh, and deduplicating the customers. So MDM is all about that. Then. Uh, yeah, we will talk about these physical extensions on a high level, just uh, at the functional level, uh, physical uh, module extensions, and virtual module customizations also. I just explain what they are. Okay. There are some common components that that may be some concern uh, uh, to you guys. Uh, so, what all are needed uh, based on a need basis uh, on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis? We we just. Uh, see what what are needed for you okay uh, and so this time I just want to make sure from each one of you okay but whenever I uh, whenever you you think that a particular session is uh, is not is not that much of relevance to you and you don't need the in-depth information on that particular session uh, that particular topic just stop me out there and say uh, let me know that you know, we, we are not concerned about the in-depth technical knowledge about this particular topic, what you are talking about. You can just uh, go on the high level and just skip it. Okay? Uh, I'm, I'm clear on that. Uh, so that I don't want the wrong expectation being set. And, uh, you know, I, I want decisions to be, um, uh, you know, to make some sense uh, to you all and help, help you in your, uh, in, in whatever you are going to work on. Okay, uh, because uh, time is valuable for both uh, you and, and me, and we need not uh, push on to all, and the details are not of any significance to you. Okay, so okay, let let's me let me start off with. Uh, so we have uh, a few a few UIs that are um, that are provided by the tool itself. Okay, so. So this is the data stewardship UI. So this is the main main tool. Uh, this is the UI that we use for the data uh, related to uh, Indian physical. So we have talked about Indian physical and what to array. So they will not talk about. Okay. Uh, so this uh, data stewardship uh, UI contains uh, party maintenance, where you can add party, and the, uh, search party. Then you can see uh, the hierarchy. Then you can search, search the records over here, and we can do multiple uh, things over here in the in the data stewardship UI, like uh, searching for suspects. I let you know what are the suspects and how do we look up uh, using a party ID. So all these are are covered uh, will be covered as part of uh, data stewardship UI. So I will uh, so this is I will then. Uh, the way this particular session is heading is a bit uh, a bit new for me too. I never really uh, took up the UIs much because like high level we just explain the way I'm just explaining. So that is how I, I usually explain. But yeah, you guys made uh, an in-depth uh, analysis on, uh, in the few of these UIs. So I uh, I will, I will take up all uh, each and every UI. We have a, about uh, three to four UIs. Uh, uh, on that, on uh, on those, uh, these two are I use very regularly. I mean, the data stewardship UI. This is for the physical data model. So since we'll be working in the hybrid data model, so this is the other one, uh, which is the uh, inspector. Inspector is the virtual data model, so which is used for the uh, virtual MDM. And and here here it contains uh, different types of uh, um, you have both organization and person. When you start with the search. There is something called 
inbox uh, wherein you manage the task so that the data keeper they they manage the task and they, you also have something called data manager so data manager uh, again shows you the um, how you can assign uh, tasks to others uh, how how bulk tasks can be assigned to individuals and and then uh, those individuals get in their inbox and they can they can resolve those tasks okay. so this is the inspector ui then we have something called the administrative ui wherein here we see the rules uh, the metadata code tables everything we can view over here this administrative ui uh, administration UI. This is used. Uh, um, the usage of this particular uh, UI is pretty pretty less uh, when compared to data structure and the inspector UI. So data structure these are physical, inspector these are virtual. Okay. And then you have uh, other other things like uh, these are the uh, web reports uh, that are uh, the initial web reports that we have. So since I don't have any data. Uh, even if I click on any of these, I'm not going to take it into data. And this is a uh, fine new UI that we see enterprise your uh, UI for the HTTP. These are the default credentials. So here, uh, we have an enterprise view, uh, UI, which uh, what is the enterprise view uh, and then you can add it to a later part. So these are the uh, UIs that we will be going uh, going over and uh, spending more time on these. And apart from these, we will, we will even go on to the, uh, this particular uh, topics on a high level. So, uh, I hope you hey, uh, this time. Yeah, there is a Sorry. Uh, will, will you be like uh, loading some data into it so we can kind of see how it's working? All the features. Uh, I'll try to load data uh, because uh, that uh, DB connectivity is an issue when we do it on the local uh, local machines. We didn't usually don't support the configuration of these mm -hmm. particular uh, tools uh, because the minimum uh, that this particular uh, tool needs is. Uh, is more than 8 GB. Okay, it is uh, somewhere close to. I, I know that configuration is really bad because it's uh, somewhere close to 8.2 GB is what it's. And on our machines, uh, uh, usually we have uh, 8 GB. Okay. I had to take up a server a server setup, uh, but still there, then I could get only the up to 8 GB configuration. And uh, once I did the server setup, it it, it, it is asking for uh, close to. Uh, 16 to 18 GB, it was possible for the process to run. I will be able to load a uh, few uh, a little bit of data and try to explain you about a uh, few other functionalities uh, and show you how it happens. Um, but uh, I cannot show you the 100 percent because few data, uh, a few few of the functionalities uh, are usable only if you have more than about 1,000 records or. You know, right. 10, 000, 000, 1 million yeah, that's fine. As long as we can see like a couple of entries or something, see what kind of yeah, fields yeah, and uh, stuff. That, yeah. Yes, that can that can be shown. Uh, that is how that is what even uh, Harish requested me that this we want to want uh -huh. uh, look in feel of the UI yeah. yeah. because uh, initially whenever we do the setup right on a local on our local machines, um, the UI don't. Right. And I don't know. I don't know why it, it happens. Can I, I don't have an explanation of that because uh, I have done uh, installations uh, almost up to like uh, 15 to 20, 20 times, mm -hmm. uh, 15 to 20 different machines, and uh, close to 25, 30 times uh, overall about in, uh, uninstalling, installing. You know, if whenever it fails, I have to go go back and install because the configuration that some uh, that our machine usually that is recommended by IBM is about 32 bit. Uh, 30, 32 GB uh, RAM. Right, right. Okay. That is is the minimum expectation from uh, uh, from IBM uh, in, in from the uh, IBM India. But uh, you know the, those are servers. But usually on the local when we install, right, it is more about uh, the uh, development environment. So as I showed you, right, the development environment. Right. Those uh, we 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 work on those 
how do we do the customizations and everything. And only when we deploy into the on our uh, development uh, environment, particular development server, that is when we can view all the UIs and how they are working. So that is okay. how easy the practice is. That's why I, uh, it was difficult to get, get the UIs, but uh, somehow I, I just, uh, had to lend a server and then, you know, they, uh, do all these uh, installations and and I was when uh, whether the UIs will, work, will be working, but yeah, luckily they they start they uh, could set up uh, partially. Because again, uh, still I'm. Um, Working on the connectivity between the UI and the DB uh, because the installation is is like a package. I installed it. I'm able to see the UI, but somehow the UI is not uh, integrating with the database. So I I figured it out. Uh, that will probably be a problem, and at least a couple of entries, and we can we can try out some stuff. Oh, yeah, that's fine. So uh, this is where I'll I'll uh, stop the session for today. Uh, once we get the confirmation from Harish, then uh, from tomorrow we will have the sessions uh, at that regular time at 8 o'clock, uh, okay. India time. Uh, Sharan, uh, I am, I, am I good or do you need any, any other clarification? Okay, all right. Uh, do you have any questions, David, Pratik? No, not at the moment. Just uh, it's one thing that keeps moving or gets canceled, I know we're trying to figure out is it's the timing on, the, on these meetings. Are they going to happen every day at 6.30 uh, Pacific time? Yeah, actually. Uh, are you not available at that time? No, I am. It's fine. But since some days we would have them and other times, I mean, I had I was, I was had a busy weekend, so I couldn't attend Friday through Sunday. I don't know if we had. I heard we had one maybe. But that's what it's like. I just want to make sure that it's clear. If it's going to be every day, I'm fine. I'll just allocate the time. It's for I just want to make sure that they're happening at the same time, and if or if it's every other day, I don't know. Because right now it just kind of seems all over the place to me. Yeah, it's gotta be the um, same yes, time at six thirty PST. Okay, and and we're talking every night, right? Or at least Monday through Friday. Uh, we're talking every night, uh, okay. even even the weekends. Sounds good. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so if the if the if there is uh, um, if there's any difficulty for me to join any any meeting or I'm uh, not available, uh, I'll let you know on uh, day prior when we have, if, if I'm not available uh, Friday, I'll let you know on Thursday when we're having the session, then okay. uh, that Friday I'm not available, 